you can now use AI directly in Photoshop, and it is the most fun feature in any AI tool that I've used yet. Here is a three-step guide on how to get it set up, as well as a four-step guide on how to use the tool. Step 1. Go to Google and type in Photoshop Generative AI Bill. What will pop up is a link, and it should be this link right here, blogadobe.com. And it should be this link. You can see it right here on this page. You're going to click this link, which is the download link. And when you go to Adobe Creative Cloud, the app should look like this. This is not the actual Photoshop app. Notice here when I open it up. The app that is open, if you scroll over it, this is Adobe Photoshop Beta. Just a quick note, you will need the Creative Cloud subscription. So once you have this all downloaded, you're going to click New File. You're going to select the desired image size, and you're going to drag your photo onto the image frame. As you can see here, I dragged photo onto the frame. It should then load on this screen right here. And then you're going to start off by using the This tool. You select wherever you want in the image. And you click this Generative Fill button. I just did a quick example. Giant cheeseburger. And remember, you can always regenerate images if you don't like it. And a lot of them, like some of them, I've regenerated over 30 of them before I find the one I like. And so this is just a very simple step-by-step -step guide to getting started. So I downloaded this off of Midjourney. It's just an astronaut in all white room. So let's go ahead and use this quick selection tool. Okay, so we have the ceiling and the walls. Let's see if we can make this like 1970s wooden ceiling. Completely change the vibe. Okay, it almost looks like bamboo. Okay, so now let's add a big chandelier lasso tool. I guess we could make it like this, right? Elegant chandelier. We have this, this, and this. This kind of blends in more with the room, but I like this. Let's go ahead and add a futuristic sports car. Okay, so this one is cooler. And so now we can actually grab the entire ground. Let's do marble floors. Ooh, that's kind of clean. Wow, it's got rich texture. That's crazy. Now let's make this generative fill open garage. Okay, yeah. Now that has some light coming through. And we're just going to select all this good stuff. Nice wooden house. Okay, well, this is a little house. But you know what? I kind of like it. Painting of nature with wooden frame. Option one, option two, option three. I'm like option one. And there you go. We have a completely new image using AI Photoshop. We have Samrat Man front and center. Let's go ahead and use the This tool. And let's just grab this section right here. And you can press the shift tool, I believe, to grab more than one thing, so that adds to it. And we are going to thick sunglasses. Okay, those will do. All right, now let's keep using this lasso tool. Now let's go ahead and just grab this whole area. Curly blue hair. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I like it. I don't hate it. I think it's a good look. Now let's go ahead and grab this. We're going to add a goatee and beard on this man. Goatee and beard. There we go. Sam. Look and fly, my dude. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. And we will say, make it a white, thin gym tank top. Yeah. There you go, Sam. Ooh, which one's the best? We've got an arm tattoo there. Pretty good. I'm going to go with this one, probably. Let's go ahead. Grab this whole area here. That should be enough area. Let's give him a gold chain necklace. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Sam. That's good. We can now precision edit our mid-journey generated images using AI Photoshop. Okay, so we're going to be starting with this image right here that I just created on mid-journey. It's a pretty cool image. Now let's go ahead, and we're going to start off by creating some dinosaurs. So let's just go dinosaur. Oh yeah, that's pretty heat. All right, so now let's go ahead, but I kind of want it to be facing that dinosaur. This guy looks kind of friendly. This size. Flying dragon. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I dig it. I like it. And let's go ahead and create kind of a story here. Let's go treasure chest with goal. Ooh, I like that a lot. If we do another one, it'll be a similar style. Treasure chest with gold. I like it. Bridge over water. Okay, so this one is very cool. It looks like kind of this old, like, falling apart bridge. Many boats floating in the water. And let's go wooden. Let's do one more wooden boat. Okay, so that's pretty solid. 
Grab this guy right here and let's do Golden Castle. Ooh, I like it. Volcano. Ooh, this one's pretty clean. Ooh, I like that one too, actually. Yeah, let's go with number two. Been Alien Invasion. Ooh, I like number two. Let's just go with that one. Let's go ahead and type in baseball. That okay. That's pretty good. Let's turn Luke Skywalker into a minor league baseball player using AI Photoshop. Let's select this part right here. Baseball helmet. Good. That looks like one Luke would wear. Let's go ahead and grab all of this area right here. Baseball jersey. You know what? This is what a baseball uniform would look like on Palpatine. Anyway, so now let's go ahead and grab the lasso tool. And let's grab everything down to here. Height baseball pants. Luke's looking good so far. So I just lasso tooled one F hold, shift, and select this shoe. Now what we're going to do is type in baseball cleats. That is pretty good. Okay, so now I found this photo of a baseball card online. Quick selection tool. We're going to grab the whole card except for the words. We're going to hold the Alt key to select Reverse Select. We can get rid of this whole part right here. We are going to move this right here. Now we're going to the card layer above. So now we need to go to the Brush Tool. And we are going to click Brush Tool and remove this. Let's type in Luke Skywalker. And here we just change the font. And there you go. Luke Skywalker is a baseball card. Thanks for watching. See you soon.